Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be plugging in a pencil. Why? Well, just because I want to. You see, this is not lead, it's graphite, but both are conductive. So if you attach a wire to each side of the graphite, you can use it like a resistor and pump lots of current through it, which will get turned into heat. But before we plug in this pencil, let's do some tests with a replacement lead, which is actually not lead, it's carbon and graphite. So the way I have this set up is I have a 12 volt battery, the two wires that I'm going to connect to are the pencil lead. At the end of the wires, there's these alligator clips connecting to my pencil lead, and the reason I'm putting these copper right here is so that I don't melt my alligator clips. Let's plug in the pencil lead. Just kind of burned up, but not much happened. Let's try that again. That was a nice glow. All right, I zoomed in, so let's see what happens. Again, that's a very nice glow. I moved the wires even closer to each other, so let's see what happens now. Glows even brighter. Right now, the wires are super close, so let's see what happens. It's almost like a light bulb. All right, so that was a relatively fun and safe experiment. So if we look at the carbon, you can see that it's kind of thinned out because it evaporated whenever the high current was running through it. And as you can see, these wires have pretty much oxidized. So that's why I decided to connect these wires instead of the alligator clips directly to the pencil lead. All right, so I took a pencil like this and then shaved off a lot of the paint and then I stripped the ends so it had the conductive graphite leads at the end. So now we're going to see if we can run high current through it. Alright, so I have a power cord with the live and neutral wires. I just cut off the ground wire and I'm going to tie the ends to my pencil, which is also a 24.3 ohm resistor. Alright, I have plugged in the pencil. Now let's test it out. Alright, so I have a cord going to my power meter and then to my power cutter. And then through here to the pencil where I'm going to film it. Also, this goes without saying, please don't try this at home. I have a watering can in case there's any fires, and it just rained outside. And I'm right, I'm right next to the power cutoff, so I should be fine. I'm going to turn it on. Alright, it sparked, but nothing happened. So I unplugged it, and I'm going to see what happened. Test 2 burned up but nothing happened. I think the piece is loose over there so I'm gonna fix that. All right I repaired it so let's try it again. All right that worked and that was pretty cool. All right, that was awesome. Now let's look at the results. So this poor wire, everything on it is fine and the wires aren't even warm, but unfortunately this part is pretty burnt and actually at the end it melted. Same with this one, the wires are pretty crispy and at the end it melted, so it must've gotten hotter than whatever the melting point of copper is. Now, if we look on this board here, you can see that the pencil is completely charred and you can even find some little pieces of graphite in that. So yeah, that's the graphite right there. It's all like charred and ruined. And then, oh, I found a piece of copper from one of the wires that was connected to this part of the graphite. Rest in peace pencil. Anyway, I thought the graphite was pretty interesting because it must have like expanded or something because it's like, really focus it's like really i don't know how to describe it. it's just like soft and brittle and like 
I don't know, it's just... Like, it's almost, like, flaky. So with that experiment, the texture of the graphite changed quite a bit. Focus. It definitely has a rougher outer appearance, and on the inside, it's like swelled up and like there's lines in it. So it's pretty weird. It's different than the normal graphite, and it's like super brittle too. If you look at the bottom of this brick here, you can see the burn mark where the pencil broke. And those are little pieces of wire. And yeah, that is why I did not do this on some nice concrete or the other side of the brick. Dude, now my hands are all dirty. This video was a lot of fun to make. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you later.